The law states that it's illegal for a kid under the age of 18 to buy a nicotine vape. So my question is, how come I see so many high schoolers doing this? Do you have any buys? Do well in uh, HPD. It gives you the head spins. Yeah. Will my little sister like this one? She's addicted to the chuffs, my sister, so I'm just grabbing her one. Um, She's pretty young though. <laughs> Shouldn't get on them too young, you know? Yo, baby, I bet you that mango tango fizz. As you can see, the vape epidemic is getting out of hand. Another death connected to the use of e-cigarettes. So that leaves me with the question, how do you put a stop to this? Infiltrate the dealers, find the supply. So we bribed a kid, biked him up, gave him an earpiece, and sent him into a vape store undercover. Act cool, calmly collected Luca. And while McLovin is lining up for a vape, it's a good time to tell you that if these vape dealers sell to a kid, a trained team of professional vape inspectors will burst through the door, catching them in 4K. Did the kid try and seduce you for the vape? And just like every video on this channel, when I choose to f around and find out, I stumble across something much bigger than I can ever handle. You own every single vape store in Service Bar. Every single vape store in Service I don't want you to kill me, Jimbo. You sound like a dangerous man. I don't want to say dangerous, but you don't want to come and set up a... Hi. Um, I'll just go to watermelon and ice, I'll get it, please. Now, I don't sell them here. You don't sell I get vapes at all? I do, but mine are nicotine free. Tell him to stop playing games. Let's stop playing games. I bought them here like two days ago. Two days ago? Yeah. Here? Yeah. In Cranked. I would have remembered you. Say, what are you, a cop? You uh, can try the next to back us on the next block. Yeah. And they sell them to kids? That it shouldn't be. Okay. Are you a kid? If you did have them, would you sell them to kids? No. I would ask for your ID. So are there any other ones around here? No. Now it became obvious if we were ever going to find out how these kids got their hands on vapes, Luca needed more training and we needed more leads. So we decided to change our tactics. Hi. Hello. Um, uh, are you 18? Sorry? Could, I, could you buy me a vape? Absolutely not, mate. Excuse me, mate. Just the local vape inspector. This kid over there just told us you sold us sold him a vape. You're joking. My name's not joking. I'm the law. This is my partner in crime over here. Come on down. Hey, we've got another one selling vapes to kids. Say yes. Yeah. Hang on. The young fella just came up to me minutes ago. Yeah. His first words were, "Am I 18?" Well, obviously I'm eight, more than 18. And he got a bit of an attitude going, and I said, "Mate." I am not buying you a vape. Well, if we check his pockets right now, he's got a vape in his pockets. Nothing to do with me. But you're the last person he was with. I don't smoke, I don't vape, I don't believe in it. Oh, I've just got to blow my nose. I don't believe what I'm listening to here. You you're never, vape inspectors. You never had a runny nose? Sorry? You never had a runny nose? Yeah. yeah. And you he, tell him you're over 18? Yeah, I'm obviously over 18. I'm 67 years old, for goodness sake. You don't look a day over it. You look young. Especially with a cap on. We're quite young. But nowadays, you know, people can get away with anything. We're just out here trying to keep what? the streets clean. I don't do, I don't no. do it. I don't believe it. Why would I turn around and want to buy the kid a vape? I'm going to buy him one now. You're going to buy him one? Yeah. But you're a vape inspector. He's selling them to school kids at school, so he cut, cut us in on it. Anyway, let's go. We'll, well, we'll buy your vape now. Oh, How old are you? 16? Yeah. You weren't going to take the profit. We will. Thanks, Matt. Those two jokers turned up on the scene. We've taken a vape inspector with, and they're going to go and buy him one. Mate, there's a corruption job going on in yeah. I don't get it. Yeah, me either. I don't, I don't understand. After making this man believe there's a massive conspiracy inside the vape industry, we continued to hit the streets for more leads, and what we found out next, we simply couldn't ignore. We're trying to convict vapors. I tell you, where there's a couple. I tell you, it, you know. You'll have to kill me. I'm going to get shot. It. They've got one here and they've got one in the main shopping centre. Some Basically. of the kids may be primary kids, man. Now, if this man thinks he's being shot just for giving us the lead, we started to wonder what we're getting ourselves into. So, we decided to play it smart and send the kid in first to a store that apparently has guns. Hi, how's it Do you have any buys? Just one for 40, two for 70. Oh, just one, thanks. Huh? Say, so, do these give you the head spins? Do these ones give you the head spins or no? Depends. Do they have nicotine though? Yeah, yeah, they do. Nick Van, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do it. I'm a, I'm a heavy smoker, so. Heavy smoker, just try. Uh, yeah. Do you want to try mango ice? Yeah, I'll just have mango ice. Brother, Cheers. I'm not responsible if, if it will not give you the hand. Yeah, that's okay, bro. That's okay. You got it. You got it. You got it. That's forty bucks on card. Oh, just on cash, please. Our cash is king, bro. Well, 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 well. Oh, bro. Gotcha. 
How old are you, mate? I'm only 16. You're 16 and you're buying a nicotine vape? Hey, it's an only He was wearing a wire. You work here? Yeah, mate. Yeah, well, you're in trouble too. Yeah, what? Well. You're all part of this mess. Oh, so you promise me it's no nicotine? Uh, brother, you, if you have uh, any instrument or anything like that, you can check. You have to take a quick puff and then get down and give me 10 push-ups, right? Okay. And then don't cough. Get, get, get ready now, quick. Quick. Don't trust the police, no justice, no peace. They got me face down in the middle of the... Oh, brother. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now exhale. <laughs> Hello? Yes, on speaker, brother. Yeah, come on, bro. It's Jimmy. Oh, it's Jimmy? <laughs> Now you're probably wondering, how do we know Jimmy? He's got caught selling a vape to a 16 right. year old. And I actually just was showing him. So you were just showing him the vape, you weren't actually going to sell it you to just, him? Yeah. We just have a quick test, all he's going to do is take a puff of the vape, see if he can do 10 star jumps, and if he doesn't cough, we're sweet. Practically the same test Jimmy laughed at, one of his workers just fell for. But there was one thing I still didn't know about Jimmy. Jimbo, two for two. Listen here, mate. We've got, we've, listen here, Jimbo. Jimbo. Shut up. I've called all your workers with your in your hands, selling vapes to underage kids. Jimbo, what I don't get, mate, is you're okay making money selling vapes to kids. These things are f I don't even know who smokes them. So bad for you. You have the vape inspector? Yeah, you leave your ID, you're lucky. Leave your ID for me, please, brother. I'll have a word with you tomorrow. Is this a dinner date? Yeah, it is. It's a booty call. Should we bring some kids with us as well? Yeah, Jimbo, do you want us to bring the kids with us so you get more customers? Yeah, yeah, yes, please, yeah, do that. Dude. Well, which stores don't you own, Jimbo? All of them. You own every single vape store in Service Barrett? Every single vape store in Service So you're loaded, Jimbo. Uh, yeah, bro. <laughs> it's been seven months since the birth of the Vape Inspector Task Force, and over that time, we've interrogated countless amounts of vape store workers. Look, you're selling vapes to underage kids. Who told you? But now, apparently, we found the man who runs it all. And just like any crime organisation, I thought the best way to take it down was to try to get them all to turn on each other. Snitch on your competitors. I did it all. Across the road from the beach. Yeah. I hate those f***ing <laughs> From the bottom of my heart. Well, head there now, Jimbo. You've just become accomplice of a crime. Thanks very much. <laughs> but there was one thing we still weren't sure on. This better not be a trap. I don't want you to kill me, Jimbo. You sound like a dangerous man. I don't want to sound dangerous, but you don't want to f*** up a little bit. Oh, are you serious, Jimbo? <laughs> and now that Jimbo had our identities, we were in deep. And as we were walking to the location of his enemy, all we could think about was whether it were a trap. Um, could I just get one of these? Passion fruit mango line. And as Luca was about to catch out Jim's enemy, something felt off. I hate those Now, I may have made this mistake in the past, but I'm pretty certain that's a woman. And since Luca was in the exact location Jimbo told us to go, the fear of being set up became real. Okay. Are you 18? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's for 21. I'm going to be real with you. I have cash and I'm 16, but I really <laughs> need to impress this girl. <laughs> How much is it? 40. I'll give you 50 if you give one. You can keep the tent. Okay, put in your pocket. Yeah. No, I'm not with that. As you can see, a man appears out of nowhere and somehow spots the camera straight away. To us, it felt like a trap, and as we ran in, ready to take down the man who runs it all, it felt like everything we had been through for the past seven months led up to this moment. I'm showing this to- Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> hey, yeah, no friends I'm dropping Vape Inspector merch soon, so we're actually trying to get more people on board. Would you actually tell people to come on board? Yeah, I would, man. Yeah.